these systems were mainly designed for a complete thorough clean-up. Whatever the unpronounceable South American stuff, or with an LSD, or a drug, or whatever else, if you simply sit you with your eyes closed, don't mess with your mind, you will become million-fold of ayahuasca. Now, uh, you need to understand what the tribal societies did had a multi-purpose uh, intention. When it's not just in South America, there are such things in India also, uh, which are of maybe not of the same species of plants but are of different nature, that a full clean-up happens. This was very essential for people who lived in forests because if you live in nature, suppose you go out and live in a jungle, the number of parasites which live in your body will multiply, the variety and the number will multiply manifold. Recently there is a study which has been published which says there is a particular kind of parasite which is mainly present in the cat's excrement. If you played around with the cats and cat's excrement was around you, it is very much possible that this parasite is within you. This is not the only one. If you really put this under the scanner, there are many, many parasites, many of them. So once you live in nature, exposed to natural elements, the number of parasites which will reside in the body will greatly be enhanced. Some parasites could be dangerous to life, some parasites could cause damage to the system, but most others don't. They subsist on you and they also contribute something, so the body doesn't fight them too much and it's… it goes on. The affair goes on without you knowing about it, that's okay. But over a period of time, as their numbers increase, they have to be cleaned up. So these systems were mainly designed for a complete thorough clean-up. In India, we have various methods where uh, not always with hallucinogenic substances, but there are also concoctions with hallucinogenic things where it's complete purging because we don't… in India, we don't believe in bringing it back. We want to pump it down <laughs> So there are systems with which if you drink water after… after two hours, just pure water will come out. To that extent, your entire elementary canal is just cleaned up thoroughly. This is something that was regularly done to all of us when we were growing up. Once a month, everybody has to go through total purging. Without that, they never believed there is going to be health because this was one way of handling any kind of parasite that may grow. Not all parasites are in the form of worms or tapeworms or roundworms or whatever. There are parasites that you cannot see, they're micro in nature. You cannot see them, but they exist. But to clean them up, and the maximum number of parasites normally reside in your digestive tract. And uh, the blood parasites and the cellular parasites are there, but there is a way to impact them. These are all relatives. The parasites need an ecosystem of their own. If you completely remove the parasite presence in your digestive tract, the other parasites generally cannot subsist except a few. Others cannot subsist because they need an ecosystem of their own kind. So to destroy that ecosystem periodically was a part of the tribal life, otherwise people would slowly get sick or dull and die early, all these things used to happen. Along with that, there is also a cleansing of emotional and psychological backlog that is building up within the human being. But once you use outside chemicals or substances to do these things, in some way you will get addicted to it, or in some way, you will become limited to that process. But if anybody believes they will attain to consciousness by purging their digestive tract, they need a different kind of treatment, okay <laughs> Yes, it definitely cleanses the system, it makes certain things possible. People used hallucinogenic ways of accessing certain dimensions, 
which are largely occult in nature. This is the way... this is the reason why both in North America and South America, that occult evolved in a big way because they used other kinds of aids to make themselves available to certain possibilities. I want you to understand just finding a little space in the chaos of your intellect, either with uh, whatever the unpronounceable South American stuff or with an LSD or a drug or whatever else, is only a temporary excess. And most of the time, this may leave you completely debilitated because one excess of a heightened experience and after that back on the ground, you will be broken. This is just like you were earning, uh, let's say, ten million dollars a year and you were used to spending ten million dollars a year. Suddenly, next year you got only one million dollars. You will be broken because you have one million dollars. Whole lot of people, it's their dream to have that one million dollars. So, if you rise without earning it, by breaking the mind with chemicals, somehow you rose to some experience and then you came down, then you will see you will be far more miserable than ever before. I told them in India, people were complaining, Sadhguru, you're doing bhava spandanas only in America, you're not doing in India, you must do at least one in India. Then I said, for all of you who've already done the BSP, minimum three times, I will give you one super BSP. Only thing is, for every participant, we need three volunteers. Because you need to carry a bucket for each one of them, because they will puke, I hope they won't do the other thing <laughs> And uh, they will flip, you have to carry them to their lunch, they won't know how to eat, you have to feed them. You will have... This is what is happening in your South American treatment, okay? You won't know how to do anything, you're like all over, somebody has to put water in your mouth, somebody has to take you to the toilet, otherwise you'll do it everywhere. We can do a super BSP like that without any herb, without any chemical. We can tweak that dimension of you, which is a huge purging on all levels. But don't mistake this for consciousness. Yes, it gives you a certain relief but it doesn't take you to any place. First of all, it's not a shortcut, it's a very long drawn-out process of endless puking and getting your intestines out, literally. I am talking about a shortcut. If you simply sit here with your eyes closed, don't mess with your mind, you will become million-fold of ayahuasca, okay? You should just learn how not to mess with your mind, that's all. So, somebody wants to put a chemical and beat your mind down totally and give you some experience. See, please understand, you're walking in the street, if you take a stick and hit you on the head, that also will give you experiences, do you know? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not... I'm not saying just of pain. People go through various levels of hallucinations when they're unconscious. Some people have pleasant experiences, some people have very unpleasant experiences. The same happens with this uh, South American treatment also. Some people have such a bad experience that they never again want to go there, some people like it. So even if you bang your head on the wall, it can happen because all it needs is that you're out of your memory sphere, that's all. You're still conscious, but you're out of the memory sphere, you will explode. So how to separate you from your memory? Shall we do it with chemicals or shall we do it with awareness is the only choice we have. Either we can do it with devotion, or intensity of emotion, or energy, or awareness, we can do this. Now, chemicals, if we use, also. People have used LSD and felt fantastic, okay? They vouch by that. You are a bit too late. I come from a time when everybody around me was on it, all right? But, I was on something else, which all of them wanted. Because they knew they go up and they go down, I'm always like this. 
So, the question is just this, what needs to happen from inside if you pull it out from outside? You… do you believe there'll be no consequences? Hello? See, we can do one thing, you eat food, it'll take time to digest this. So, we pull out your stomach bag and do chuk 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 Digestion will happen quickly and put it back. It's a good trick. But you think it will not have any consequence? This is all you're trying to do. So you can… see, people are always trying to weave a philosophy around those things about which they're compulsive. You want to promote your compulsiveness as consciousness. That's a whole problem. Everybody has a philosophy. You ask a drunkard and see why he is drinking, he has a very profound philosophy as to why he is a drunkard. Yes or no? Even ask a thief why he is a thief, he has his own philosophy as to why he is a thief. Everybody, when they want to do their nonsense, they have a philosophy. There is a difference between philosophy, there is a difference between physical dimensions of life. Chemistry is just a physical dimension in a certain way. And there is a big difference between all those things and becoming awakened. It's a completely different thing.